Aloha, this is Sky the Soulful Progressive with FNN, Feminist News Network, the feminist news that's right for you. Welcome to Sky in the Rainbow Room at night. All right, giving you that soulful news you need. Yes, indeed. And what do I want to talk about today? What is everybody else talking about? Trump in North Korea. Why do you think that he dropped everything? Because Bolton and Pompeo and Pence want it that way. Uh-huh. Now, they're saying they found more to let go than just the nuclear arsenals and facilities and the breakdown of that. What they want to do is take away all their arms and then release the sanctions. And whose idea is that? Of course it's Pompeo and Bolton who don't want to do anything until a bomb is dropped on them. And that's the way it is, and that's what's really going on. Now, let's take a quick look at Democracy Now! and what they said in regard to this situation, and then we'll discuss. All right. Mm-hmm. Ugliness in this era. Hey, I know it. In Hanoi, Vietnam, where talks between President Trump and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un came to an abrupt end Thursday after the leaders failed to reach a deal. On founder and executive director of Women Cross DMZ, a global movement of women mobilizing to end the Korean War. She's in Hanoi, Vietnam, for the summit. Welcome to Democracy Now!, Christine. Can you respond to the collapse of the summit? Hi, Amy. Well, it's obviously a very sad day for 80 million Korean people around the world, especially on the peninsula, as uh, we've been long waiting 67 years for the U.S. and North Korea to declare an end to the Korean War. And many people, many pundits, many, uh, I think, President Moon, were expecting a, a, a breakthrough today, um, you know, including things such as the establishment of opening liaison offices in Washington and in Pyongyang. So uh, the sudden decision to um, cut short the meeting to, uh, you know, uh, basically shut down the talks and it came as a sudden surprise. And the mood, which started out celebratory, was soon overshadowed by uh, the sudden decision. And the announcement that Trump made that uh, North Korea was demanding um, the full lifting of sanctions. And so, I mean, I want to first start by saying, we don't know what the full picture is. And in fact, there have been now some reports coming out, especially from South Korea. The former minister of unification um, is suggesting that Bolton, of course, I mean, once we saw the picture of uh, the table and we saw Pompeo and we saw Bolton, I mean, we had to, that was a red flag that uh, something was going to be derailed. And so what we understand from the South Korean side is that, uh, that Bolton uh, was insisting that biological and chemical weapons were to be part of the package. And so North Korea obviously shifted their position and uh, and called for full lifting of sanctions. So we don't know what the full picture is. We obviously have to hear from the North Korean side, but I wouldn't just quickly um, you know, take Trump's line that North Korea was asking for something that is uh, was unreasonable. Mm, mm, mm. Now, Trump has gotten these heavy evil hitters. And the guy that looks like Mr. Burns from The Simpsons, Abrams. Now, what's going on? These are notorious warmongers that are down for the not only Pentagon and military industrial complex, but wants to create a world force of a prison industrial complex because anybody that's black and brown they want to put down and that's what's really going on with their evil agenda they want to rape and pillage every resource they can from every nation they can find and that ain't in the way you know what this is showing signs of the end of a civilization the end of a dynasty you don't think this won't end in catastrophic things that won't just bring on the change of the climate and the environment with war and bombs and nuclear, but it also can bring the end. 
Nobody wants to talk about that. I'm talking about it. Telsey Gavin talks about it. She mentions it in her speech. Now, let's take a listen to what Telsey said about this because then we're really going to go there. Mm -hmm. We must stand up, stand up against mm -hmm. this administration that claims to believe in America first, mm -hmm. but who sells our troops, mm -hmm. our weapons, and our interests to whichever foreign country is the mm -hmm. highest bidder. Yeah. We must stand up against those who dishonor our troops, treating them as political pawns and mercenaries for hire in wars around the world. Trump campaigned against regime change wars when he ran for president, but now he bows to the wishes of the neocons who surround him, clamoring for regime change wars that he claimed to oppose this time in Venezuela and in Iran. These powerful politicians dishonor the sacrifices made by every one of my brothers and sisters in uniform, their families as they are the ones who pay the price for these wars. In fact, every American pays the price for these wars that have cost us trillions of dollars since 9-11. Oh. Every dollar that we spend on regime change wars or on the new Cold War and this nuclear arms race is a dollar coming out of our pockets. Dollars that should be used to address the very real urgent needs of our people and our communities right here at home. Now, just over a year ago, people of Hawaii and our country thought we were under a nuclear attack. We saw college students running frantically across UH Manoa campus, trying to find shelter. Saw a father lowering his daughter down a manhole to try to keep her safe. Saw families who piled their children into their car and drove to the mountains looking for a cave to find shelter. But as powerful politicians beat the drums of war and ratchet up tensions between the United States and nuclear armed countries like Russia and China, the front lines have come to our doorstep as we sit on the precipice of nuclear war. Reality is right now there are over 14,000 nuclear weapons in the world, many of them far more powerful than those that were dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki enough to destroy the world many times over. Now, talking about that n false nuclear threat that happened, and I'm going to have to say, when it buzzed on my cell phone, I don't pay attention to my cell phone. It, it was lucky it was even on, because I, I thought it was just alarm, and I kept sleeping. So if anything would have went down, I wouldn't no longer be around. And to see how people were grabbing for their children, waiting to decide how they're going to spend their last moments running and fleeing for my life. That's Hawaii with a fake one. Wait until it's real. Wait until it's real. And what is Bolton and Pompeo and Trump trying to do? Make it a reality. And we need to protest. We need to vest up and get out in the streets. And not just let Code Pink be the only one saying it. Now there's been protests being done. But I'm saying not enough of them. In this era of hate. You got to participate or it will cost all of our fates. And if you agree with me, leave comments below because I know so. Mm -hmm. And contact me at feministnewsin at gmail.com. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and the Facebook page at Feminist News Network, and if you care to donate to make this a soulful great, go right ahead at PayPal me, Feminist News Network. All right, and I appreciate it in advance. Now, 
we got those Soulful Feminist News tees. Yes, indeed. And I'm on Patreon. I'm the Soulful Progressive on Twitter. I got to get on there more. You know, I'm not really doing much. But I am going to be pumping up my Patreon this weekend. So look forward to joining that. And I uh, was going to call them Newsies. But I'm going to tell you, I've been earning my subscribers hard. I want to thank all of my subscribers. Woo! Y'all are it. You are my crew. I think that's what I'm going to call y'all. We're going to be called the news crew. What you think of that? Now, if you got any other ideas for what to call the crew, besides news crew, leave comments and let me know. All right. But I want to say thanks for watching. Thanks for joining. And thanks for taking this seriously because we need to work on not having people like this in on 2020. Because we cannot have them. It seems like they might want to try to pull something before before 2020 even comes. We, we, we got to, Lord have mercy, we got to work on that. Now, thanks for watching. Thanks for joining. I'm going to end it this time. Alright. Peace.